Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. Georgia Beer Reviews back at you today with another one. What I'm looking at is a beer from Salt Box Brewery out of Concord, Massachusetts. This is called Top Bracket. It is an American IPA clocking in at 6.5% ABV and 79 IBUs. It was canned on the 12th, which was five days ago. It is the 17th. So Saltbox Brewery, located inside Saltbox Kitchen, is Concord's only craft brewery. Our beers are inspired by the crops and other ingredients grown at Saltbox Farm. These beers are meant to be kept cold and are best enjoyed within seven days of purchase. So five days, we're within that seven-day window. Um, they just started canning their beers. They have a few beers, obviously very small, local microbrewery. Um, so this is a, I believe it's a 32 ounce can. It's a big, big can. Um, had one other beer from them, which I don't know. It may or may not be posted at the time of this review when this is posted. Uh, I did that one with Bumpy Road Brews. So let's go ahead and crack this open and try it out. I'm not really sure what to expect. American IPA. I've had American IPAs that are more West Coast, traditional. I've had American IPAs that are more on the New England juicy side. So we'll just have to see. Right off the bat, this one looks more traditional. Concord's only craft brewery. Okay, the pour makes me believe that the carbonation is not really going to be there. It does have some tiny little bubbles streaming up the glass, but it didn't pour with a head. So the appearance itself is kind of a amber color, pretty clear for the most part, maybe a little bit of a haze, but relatively clear. <clears throat> Some citrus notes. Smells more along the lines of a traditional IPA, more of your West Coast. Although there's a lot of malt coming through, like caramel malt. A lemon citrus. A little bit of a, maybe a grassy note. Actually pretty mild on the aroma. It smells good, but there's not a ton there. That caramel malt, the lemon citrus, slight grassiness. Smells, smells good. Smells pretty straightforward. So without further ado, let's get into this brew. Cheers. It's actually really good. It doesn't remind me, it's more like a hoppy amber ale to me than a an American IPA. It does have really good malt flavor, a nice citrus, like earthy, grassy type hop note. It's enjoyable. Once again, as with the other beer that I reviewed from Saltbox Brewery, the carbonation, it's its really, it's pretty flat. Carbonation is very low with this, and I think that that's an issue with the canning. It just doesn't stay fresh for long at all. And they want you to drink within seven days. I'm within the seven-day window. The other beer that I had from them was even fresher than that. Still had the same effect with the carbonation. Very, very low carbonation. So I think that has something to do with their canning process. They, they need to perfect that. They just started canning, so maybe they need to kind of perfect that a little bit more and, and figure out how to seal up the cans better or, you know, get the air out before they close up the can to prevent the uh, the beer from going flat. I'm not really sure. I don't know much about canning beer, but there's obviously something there. 
The flavors are, are on point, though. It's really enjoyable. It's straightforward. It drinks more like a hoppy amber or even a brown ale, like a lighter brown ale. But it's very enjoyable. No alcohol presence. Nice hop and malt balance. Mm. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, maybe I can agitate it a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, not really. Flat for the most part, but I will say this. The flavors with this one are really enjoyable. It's got a nice finish. It's, it's slightly drying. It's really refreshing. Um, but the carbonation is really, really lacking. It's disappointing in that regard. So I got to take off major points for basically zero carbonation. It, it really takes away from this otherwise awesome beer. I'm going to go with an 89 out of 100. It's a B plus. It's a great beer. It would be into the mid A range, no doubt, if there was carbonation, more carbonation with this beer. So there you have it. A great beer from Saltbox Brewery. Try it at the brewery on draft, and you won't have to worry about the carbonation issues, and I'm sure it's a much better product. Overall, the carbonation really makes a big difference. Um, I'll be going back to this place. They have great food. I posted some pictures on my community tab before. Had lunch there a couple times. They really do great farm-to-table food. Um, and the beer, when you get it there on draft, it's really amazing. Got to try a black IPA that they brewed the other day called Midnight Mass. Uh, they didn't have it available in cans. Otherwise, I would have picked one up. But I'm kind of glad that I didn't now that I know that the canning needs a little bit more work, but it was excellent on draft, you know, really a solid, solid brew from them. So they obviously know what they're doing with the, the brewing process, but the, uh, the packaging needs a little bit of work because this, it just doesn't hold up. So 89 out of a hundred for the top bracket American IPA from Saltbox Brewery out of Concord, Massachusetts. Buy it, try it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. That'll do it for this beer review. Hope you're all having a wonderful day until next time, everybody. Cheers.